A child was born to justice and liberty. And they named her America because they wanted her to be free. But as she grew and flourished, her father decided she had too much. So he corrupted her with his incestuous touch. So she grew up unhappy and revolted against her parents, telling them that they were hypocrites and that their intentions were transparent. She moved to the city where she sent her heart to sleep and she didn't wear any shoes because she wanted to feel free, tired of being pushed and pulled by her parents' gravity. America spent her days in her room, occupying her time by making tourniquets for her chemically dependent limbs, licking her lips after taking sips of her favorite intoxicant, hell-bent, incoherent at times, with puppy eyes and swollen thighs, always searching for the destination of her next high. This world was far from the deprivation of her mother liberty and her father corrupt justice, that stupid prick. He taught her everything she knew. And she wished she didn't know she. Inside her little efficiency where nothing was efficient, hope was non-existent. Sometimes her neighbors had to go inside her hell where her feeding friends and dirty needles dwelled to stop her from beating her head against the bloody fingerprinted walls. And most of the time, America didn't know what day it was. The sun was a nuisance. Every time it rose up, her heart closed up, her veins froze up, and her throat choked up. Life didn't mean much when her lover named Hatred beat her till she couldn't speak. Blood and tears dripping to her feet, leaving nothing discreet. Black eyes and scars, screams heard near and far. Broken ankles, bruised ribs, burnt, numb fingertips. Clumps of her hair strung out on the floor, chain around her neck from the lock on the door. He yelled, you fucking whore, you're such a stupid bitch. Each word engraved with each doctor's stitch, each memory deprived by her devilish man's dick. Rough, skinned, raw, and wasted, stripped down to nothing, only bone was left, and she wept with regret for her sins of the flesh. One last time, her incongruous mate, hatred, made her the main course upon his plate, not leaving one ounce of love behind for her disheveled mind, and she lay there as he laid her, eyes glazed over and over. He entered and disappeared, whispering sadistic thoughts into her ears, but she didn't hear anything. And in the morning, she woke up just to throw up and shoot up and up and up away from the cataclysms and evil rhythms in her mind. For days, she roamed the streets, giving up her sweets with indiscreet fucks on the hoods of cars and trains on top of pool tables inside sleazy bars. Arbitrary decisions caused a collision of the soul against the flesh, sound against the mesh, bullets against the chest, a spiritual death. Her womb began to fill with fluid, a lucid being floating inside her irrational egg, sprouting legs, fingers, and a brain, uterally maimed, a fetus named by cocaine and heroin syringes, infringement on humanity before it even had the chance to be, nine months of incubation only to witness this deformed manifestation, a man-made creation of drug-addicting masturbation and an influx of unrecognizable dicks that rip and strip and prick all the nourishment that exists. A babe shoved into the abyss, left with his junkie mother, America's crusty-lipped kiss. Now mama stares at the ceilings. Now mama takes a breath of fresh hospital air in a building full of drugs, but she can't get no high there. Body battered, lungs impaired. And baby stares at the ceiling, already numb to feeling, crying and dying to be held and fed, but there's nobody there. Because America's dead. No more injections for your sweet, innocent face. No more of mama's narcotic concoctions to taste. A nameless little junkie left in swaddling clothes with the pale, transparent face and deformed hands and toes. They say, God bless America. Have mercy on her soul. She didn't know what she was doing. She was out of control. Someone should have saved her. So who's to blame for this atrocity? The dreadful day America's child became America's prophecy. The written scripture of what will be. The tainted reflection of you. <laughs>